Yep, you with your girl in the Divine Council. This is this expert show, and you got me. And we're talking about all month, and I mean the whole month of February. Even though it's Black History Month, it is also the month of romance. So, if you want to know how to have romance throughout your um, throughout your marriage, throughout the year, because romance is not just stuck in one month, but this is the month that we light it on fire, okay? So, we're going to talk about romance all uh, month. Since you are in with us, I hope you've been enjoying the um, Yours and Mine show with the great topics that they have. And if you are listening to me by radio and you um, and you haven't joined us on Facebook, please take the time to go to the Divine Council Facebook page and like the page so you can see some of the content that we have and some of the encouragements and all of the video that we have that you can be a part of. So you, if you haven't joined already, go ahead to the Divine Council page on Facebook. Like the page so you can see the content of our videos because most of our um, sessions are streamed live. Facebook Live and and so that you can see any videos that we have already done is on the is on the page so go ahead and like that you can see what I'm talking about day to day because I talk about different things I put up different pictures and just to see what you know the sex is gonna say today you might want to go ahead and check that out and if you um, join us on Divine Council you will, might want to go ahead and um, join the podcast on well you can get it on soundcloud you can get any podcast on soundcloud um you can download it and hear it you can also go on a youtube page um culture shock entertainment tv is the youtube page um thing and see all of the videos not just mine but you can see different videos on there as well um we have some great people we have some great um radio personalities that you want, might want to get in there and see so that's something that you can take a gander at and you also uh can get social with us on all social media not just facebook but you also can um like the page culture shock entertainment so you can go and leave messages there email us inbox us all that type of stuff you, you can do all that. We love it. Of course, y'all know I'm taking y'all uh, y'all inboxes live right now. So I'm seeing some of the questions that you're asking me. So I'm switching in between looking on here and looking on my computer, okay? So what are we talking about today? Because y'all all know. We all know. We all know that the the day of love is next week it's next tuesday so man if you haven't got your gifts yet you might want to hurry up and get that ladies now don't just let him go and get gifts and you don't get him anything we don't do that you remember we keep our marriage balanced so if he gets you something for valentine day you gotta do the same thing you got to do the same thing. That's to keep a flow. So some people say, and this is what they say. They say Valentine's Day is for the women and Sweetest Day is for the men. Well, Sweetest Day is kind of a Midwest thing. So if you're in other cities or other time zones that don't celebrate it, then the men kind of miss out. So if you keep things balanced, then that way on Valentine's Day, you get your man something. And on Sweetest Day, he gets you something. So that is nobody's day, but we celebrate our love together. So it's not just Valentine's Day is for women. Okay. I know that some men, not all men, do not like flowers. So get him some a bouquet of hot wings. <laughs> um, my man in particular, he doesn't eat strawberries. So if I'm going to do like an edible arrangement, they have uh, 
chocolate covered um, apples and he loves that and so that's something that I try to do for him on Valentine's Day I may send it to his job um, there's a company in if you're in Cleveland Ohio it's called my shimmer um, that you can look them up on Facebook um, they do apples and they do uh, strawberries and they do different she do a, a chocolate cover apple where she uh, chocolate coat the whole apple and not just in slices and she put all kind of designs on there and for the ones that you know indulge in a little drink she also can do you know a drunken apple or tipsy strawberries for you where she infused the alcohol in there I'm not a drinker my husband's not a drinker so we just like the apples and strawberries she um, did it for my birthday and they were amazing her name is Nika Nika um, McKinley um, so if you look her up on Facebook if you're in the Ohio area um, I believe they do uh, and that's something simple you know what I'm saying that's something simple that if you it's the last minute you were on the last little turn you know you want to go ahead and do that you want to go ahead and get that with what, what, what your girl want she's um, you can't go wrong with that stuff as long as they're not allergic so for the people that are allergic to strawberries you might want to stay away from that so Let's get into this romance thing. Remember that this is the time that you show her, that you show him how much you enjoy being one with them. You know, this is the time you break out your candles. This is the time you break out your fragrances. You break out all this stuff that you really really been waiting to use <laughs> and this is what you do now uh, during this month I'm going to show you because I don't want February to be the only month that you do your romances here I want you to take what you learn in this month and take it throughout the month I think that romance should be a big part big 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 part of your love making because it's truly how you make love and so in saying that I'm going to today I'm going to give you some deals deals because y'all know I am the queen of the budget but I want it to look like I paid everything for it so because I love to smell good this is my lotion when you capture a man's nose you have your scent so I'm big on you know BBW BBW y'all know what that is so I don't want to spend regular price so, if I'm going to capture his nose, I'm going to bust out my coupons. In this, so when you go into your BBW or your VS, you want to get on mailing list, um, ladies. Well, men, this is, let me do it without y'all see. <laughs> This is, oh, for the people that is in Radio Land, this is my coupon booklet from BBW, and it is, it has my name on it. Well, <laughs> I get the same one, but it's for my husband. He put his name on the mailing list, so that he can get his, um, because they have a whole men's line. And so do VS. So most of these stores are having a men line. Because they are waking up to know that men love to smell good as well. And so they put yourself on a coupon list. 
they will send you your coupon again. Coupons. I got a 20% off. I got a free signature thing. And I have a $5 uh, signature body cream. Right? So, I'm going to start. That will probably be one of my little getaway trips. Because I want to smell good. And they also have a line of massage oils that you may want to try. Because this is the time to show them, you know, let them feel the love through your hands. Let them feel your love through your hands. Um, so if you haven't, um, me, my sister, my husband, her husband, um, my other sister, the Mrs. Architect, and my brother, Mr. Architect, we all travel for a, a couple's vacation where we all travel together and we go to a place and we're together as couples and we do all this stuff together, but we also have our nights as a couple where we're just with our sweetie and we're, you know, alone, making memories, doing our thing, but doing our thing. So when we do that, we have, um, we, we have that fun that we can do couple things. We could talk, we could do all of that, but we also have the alone time. So when we have that alone time, you want to have your bubble bath, your, you know, bath bombs, if you don't want to want the bubbles. We had this big jacuzzi back in um, last year's trip, and we were always <laughs> in there. Um, you know, we always, because we always like to smell. We like the aroma of you know he likes me to smell like a lady and i love to smell his cologne my husband gets me every single day because my husband wear oils so it stays with him all day long and it just get in his clothes and when he walks by you you like <sighs> and i just know i can i can literally when he gets dressed in the morning, he wakes me up with his cologne. And so, BBW has a man's line. The lotion, the body wash, the um, the spray. Just like they have for women. So, men, if you are a man out here and you not taking care of that, you like, no, no real, no, 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 no. A man captured that woman's nose. You ever been in the store and smell somebody that smells so good? You like, you start following him? Normally, that's my husband. So, you know, I'm like, girl, back up. <laughs> but I like, you know, for real, I'll be like, yeah, that's him. That's my man. I have a little pride there. Like, yeah, that's my boo smelling good. Got y'all all down this aisle. And so, one of the things that you want to um, do is you want to make sure that you have that i use candles again i have my my little ritual that i do y'all have to excuse my voice because i'm getting over this laryngitis thing um so it kind of raspy but you i have this thing of where i you know, I shower, I get, I have a 12 step program of just layers of things. I want to moisturize because everywhere I touch, wherever, where he touched me, I want him to feel the softness of my body. You know, I have my moisturizer treatment. I have my spray. And this is what I do every night before I go to bed. My husband never smells my day on me. Because I wash my day away. So I have that where I'm going to do. I'm doing my thing with the. Uh, my 12 step program. My moisturizer. I'm making sure that my breath is right. You know that nightly brush. And that extra. Extra special mouthwash. <laughs> 
So I make sure that every time, every night, so I have a 12-step program for myself um, to make sure that he's smelling. He like, oh, baby, you smell good. And he knows this is this is now he expects it from every woman. <laughs> it's like uh sometimes it just we're working on it <laughs> for different women. We're working on it, y'all. I'm team for y'all. But know that what I do, my husband have his own program where he's smelling good and he's moisturizing. Cause nothing I love my husband's scruffy beard. But I don't want to smell his day on him. I don't want to know what he ate in his beard, in his goatee. Um, I like for his skin to be moisturized. No, his hands don't have to be as soft as mine. I know that my husband can fix the car. I know he can change the tires. I know that he going to fix anything around this house that's broke. He's a man, 100% man. But I do not want to feel... Uh, um, I don't want my skin scratched up because you won't do something about those calluses on your hand or your feet. So I do take care of my husband's feet. I do. I take care of his feet. Um, he he doesn't like to. That's just our thing, though. I won't say he don't like to go to get, you know, pedicures, but that's just our thing. You know, I take care of him. Uh, my husband's a diabetic, so it's just our one-on-one -on -one time together. And I know people are like, oh, that's crazy. She take care of his feet. Yes, I take care of my man's feet because that's what a wife does. And, you know, he go in there and when he comes out, I take the lotion and I massage his feet. My husband's on his feet 12 hours a day. For me to sit in this chair and be at that computer, you know, getting my education, you know, getting more educated or sitting and talking to someone. So I'm going to massage that day away off of his feet. I'm going to make sure that they are properly taken care of. So that's number one for men. Make sure you take care of your feet. Okay. Now, he washes his day away. So he not coming out of work shoes and I'm going, come on, baby. No, he washes his day away. So, you know, man, you may want to go and get manscaped, you know, have somebody get that. That's a good gift for women. Send your man this Valentine's Day. If it's his first time or not, that's lotion in my nails. <laughs> um, if it's his first time, take him to go get a manicure. Teach him how to take care of himself. Take him to go get that manicure. Let them rub on his hands. Let him massage his hands. Or, for my ladies, let's not pretend like everybody can afford that right now because we just got over Christmas. What we want to do is, you want to take warm water take warm water you can put a little bit of his shower gel in there uh, just a little bit in a bowl with warm water as warm as he feels relaxed in not as he can bear it because we don't want him to bear anything but you want to take a bowl of warm water as warm as he can that's comfortable and relaxing to him put a little bit of his shower gel in there and sit him at his table and let him put his hands in the bowl of water. Go to Walmart. They have a manicure set, a manicure pedi mani pedi set that you can buy. That's pretty much inexpensive. Some of them are like $10 or a little bit more depending on, you know, your man. You know, if he have a thicker nail or a thinner nail, you know, do something like that. But, make the day all about him. Sit him down. Then, y'all talk while you're doing his nails. 
you know, shape them. You don't have to know, know how to be a manicurist. You, you know, you don't have to do all that. But just know, you know how to make it even. You've been making your nails even all these years. Just make it even and smooth them out and buff them while he talks to you. And girls, listen to the man. No matter what he says, listen. Don't try to make it better. Don't try to fix it. Let him talk. Let him talk uninterrupted. And you'll learn something about your man. So you sitting there and you going from nail to nail. And then you want to take in your hand. Get his lotion. His lotion, not yours. But his lotion. And put a little bit in your hand. You want to take his hand in your hand, use your thumb, and you want to, well, you can take your hand and rub the lotion in your hand, take his hand and press just a little bit. You want to be firm in your pressing, but ask him, baby, how that feels. He going to say that feel good, or he might say lighten up a little bit, or he might say, oh, babe, go a little bit deeper. And you want to take each, each finger. And just run your thumb and your index finger up it. And just make a little up and down motion with each finger. That's getting the blood circulating to his hands. Each finger. And making sure you pay attention to each one. And then you want to take his hand and rub them. Take your hands and just rub. Rub towards you. Rub his hands towards you. Using your thumbs and the backs of your hand to pull. Pull that stress out of this man. Again, ladies, if you cannot afford for him to go to the nail shop, you be the nail shop. This is your time to be romantic. Light your candles. Have it set for him. Have the table set for him. In a little area where um have the table set for him have his robe ready buy him if he don't have a robe h and m have robes on sale walmart has robes on sale i know that i'm like giving these names of companies and i'm sorry james if that's wrong <laughs> but you can go get an inexpensive robe and you can, you know, allow him to put, you know, get his robe, you know, get the shower ready. Let him shower and then have his robe and then bring him to where you're going to do his manicure and his pedicure. If you are a man, and this is not being funny, I'm not being funny at all. But if you're a man, have a foot odor in which some of you ladies have told me that they do. Put a little Listerine in the water. You can use the blue Listerine, whatever. Put it in the water. And put a little baking soda. So you want to do one-fourth cup of Listerine. One-fourth cup of um, uh, baking soda. No, I'm sorry. Uh, vinegar. One-fourth cup of Listerine. One-fourth cup of uh, vinegar. And you want to do, uh, you know, put the water in there. That will cut on odor. And the vinegar, vinegar is an antifungal. So that will help his feet. Remember, you've already led him to the shower. So this is just to reinforce it. He don't know what you're doing. Unless he's watching or listening. <laughs> so, and that also will take care of dead skin too. So if he had dead skin on his feet, you'll just wipe it right away. You don't have to see it because you can use a towel and it will literally, you know, some people say it will literally come off. So that's just a little trick that you can do just to make sure that your man is, you know, you want to take these moments, these moments in time. You want to take these moments to say, hey. I'm going to make sure you're good. You're teaching him. Now, men, again, balance. If you can't afford to go get the nails done, this is a great time. 
great time to learn how to do a small little manicure again go to the store uh, Walgreens Walmart CVS places like that they have manicure um, kits where you can go and they'll have the nail file the buffer the fingernail clipper the emery board now for women if she's like moi and she just you know get you a little nail polish that you like nail polish you can get at any beauty supply and it's a dollar it's not about you being perfect at this this is about spending time this is about you romancing her and say look i'll try anything to make you happy so get you some nail polish and have the nail polish remover <laughs> Because you will mess up if it's your first time doing it. But you want to be, you want to get good at things like that. Why? Because those little things gets her attention. Okay? It really does. It really gets her attention. So if she don't have her nail or doesn't have her nails done, and she's, go ahead and sit and paint her nails. Give her the treatment. Take her one of her favorite smell good body washes and put it a little bit in a bowl just a little in the whole not a whole lot take hot water as warm as comfortable for her because remember you want her to relax and not go oh my god i gotta start the reworm so you want to take that get a bowl you want to set this stuff up before she gets home again robes if she don't have a favorite robe or she don't she, she doesn't have a robe at all you can always go to her favorite uh store and see if they have robes they is just christmas was just around the corner so a lot of that stuff is on sale robes but you can also go to a, a retail store like burlington or um walmart that have reasonable robes lay it out on the bed get that shower going send her into the shower have her come and when she gets out the shower you have her robe laying out and then you have a station set up for her manicure and her pedicure now what you're going to do is the same thing because believe it or not, if you have sweaty feet, you're going to have an odor. No matter if you're a man or a woman. And sometimes it's more embarrassing for us as women because you're like, oh, you're a lady. Well, I can't help my glands. And so, you know, I have a lot of women that come to me that, you know, they are really, really embarrassed. And it's like, girl, bad. Now, let me tell you, get you some vinegar. Get you some baking soda. Soak your feet. So what you want to do is you want to make sure um, you have your station set up. You can start with her feet. And when you start with her feet, you're going to soak them. Now, if she doesn't have smelly feet, you can use, um, they also have this uh, pomegranate or um, feet, foot bath foot soak stuff that you can get from Avon, Walmart or any of those places but it has a little pomace in there that will give her a good massage with that pomace meaning that it's going to take any dead skin she has off and leave her feet feeling refreshed if you can you can also get tea tree oil and put it in the water with hot water well as warm as she can bear it not bear it but as she can relax in because there's some hot water that you can bear then there's also some hot water that makes you feel relaxed and so you want to do that and you want to get the foot soak um, stuff that have the little pomace in it or a little granulated in there and you're going to massage her foot and then soak them you want to make her nails even something simple if you're not good at cutting her nails, don't 
don't do it don't do it but getting back to um the couple's trip we went on this couple's trip and we learned how to give each other massages it we um we paid for the class and it was awesome she taught us how to massage so you could also look for things like that number one best friend to learn how to do these little classes because they can be expensive groupon groupon is your friend you could go and see if there's any classes in your area and see if uh, Groupon have any coupons that will, you know, 30% off, 50% off, 60% off, that you can go and learn these things by, from the professional, and then you can, you know, execute them during your romance, okay? So, Groupon is very good for those things. So, look in your local area and then also look on Groupon to see if that company works with them so that you can learn how to do it before. But now, since we down to the wire, this is what you're going to do. So, for the massage, you want to, you got her foot looking good. He, he got your feet looking good. Y'all did a couple's. Man and Petty. Come on, y'all. Balance. Balance in a relationship. What we do to one, we do to the other. Okay? So y'all did that. Y'all both had the same idea to do that. And y'all 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 got that going. So you have your music. YouTube have this thing to where you can create your own page. I say YouTube only because you can get all types of music. You ain't got to go out there and try to this for 99 cent, this for 50 cent, this for $1.99. You can just get the music and you can go through the music. Set this up now, guys. Set this up now because Tuesday you don't want to set this up. So you go down and listen to what your favorite songs is. Create your YouTube um, page thing with your um songs that you like and they will come one after another so y'all got y'all sound chart for the night y'all done took y'all hot steamy showers y'all done gave each other manicures and pedicures the romance don't stop there how about getting each other a massage okay we already talked about groupon we already know in the future we're gonna look for classes but right now it is it's, it's time. <laughs> it is past time to try to learn that. So, what do we do? We go and we wing it. <laughs> what we're going to do is, since y'all in your robes, you're going to take a lubricant. Now, most people like natural oils because the body will absorb it because it's organic. So, olive oil grape seed oil these are um great oils that you can get you want to heat it up in the microwave test it on your forearm just like a baby if you put that hot oil on you and you go oh it's too hot for her if you put this right here in this tender area here and you go oh my god it's too hot for him do not burn your spouse test it on you and then what we're going to use? Communication. Baby, how does that feel? Kevin, come here, please. How does that feel? So you're going to heat the oil up. You got your music playing. You got your, your little whatever going here. And you're gonna that's that's what you're gonna do. You're only gonna see his hand, okay? I need you to come up closer. So this is my husband's hand. We're gonna use coconut oil. Coconut oil comes in uh in different different ways, but you can get it condensed or in a solid form. But when you rub your hands together it turns into a liquid so you're going to take the body and you're going to be sensual with it you're going to try to 
make sure you get out all those stresses but you're gonna do one thing because you, you don't know what you're doing you're going to apply a little bit of pressure as much as you can and you're gonna do what you're gonna communicate baby is that too hard that's wonderful it's wonderful yes. okay when he says it's wonderful i know that i can keep on going with this pressure would you like it a little harder sure why not okay if they give you the green light you can press a little bit harder <laughs> you can you can press a little bit harder stay away from the spine so you do not if you do not know what you're doing do not take your thumb and press in anybody's spine or in their neck so if you want to rub the shoulders, even though this is his hand, if you want to rub the shoulders, you want to rub them until they, you, until you hear them purr like a little kitten, and, or you just say, "Babe, how does this feel?" Well, speaking to <laughs> either way, <laughs> either way, you want to make sure that you're again. This is coconut oil. It started as a solid, but when I rubbed it in my hand and it came in contact with my body heat, it becomes a oil, and the body will absorb the coconut oil. Um, it absorbs it really, really well. And most people are not allergic. So you want to make sure that you're not allergic. Thank you, babe. Bye-bye. Bye. So with that, um, again, that was coconut oil. It comes like, you. it looks kind of like lard. You know, I don't know if people cook with lard, lard anymore. But it comes as a white consistency. But again, when you rub it in your hand and it comes into your body heat, it comes into an oil. And it's very good for massages. Grapeseed oil is another one that is a great oil. The body absorbs it really, really well. And it doesn't, and you know, for those that love hand play, you know, I'm not wasting my coconut oil. For the people that can see me, I'm rubbing it in this hair. Yes, I am, because I'm not wasting my coconut oil. <laughs> um, for those that want to do hand play later and you need an oil as a lubricant, for your female, you might want to use grapeseed oil or coconut oil because the body takes it really, really well. Okay? So remember, if you're going to do uh, a massage, stay away from muscle triggers so like if they hurt themselves you don't want to go and press like Ugh, this is not the time to get out your frustration on your boo thing because they get you upset that day <laughs> so you you may want to you know just ask them how does this feel always communicate always communicate and if you're the one getting the massage if it hurt let them know Say it just a little bit lighter, babe. You're doing good. You're doing, oh, this feels so good. But can you lighten up just a little bit? Because that really feels good right there. Or if it hurts, just let them know it hurts. Because you want to make sure that you're not hurting. Because y'all haven't got to the the love making it. Everybody want to get to that part. Everybody want to get to that part. I ain't doing all of this for us to go sit down and watch uh, CSI Miami. I'm doing this because <laughs> it's going down and not in the DM. It's going down in the bed tonight. So we want to make sure that we are being that sensual, sexual being, but we're not hurting each other. Okay? So get your coupons. Go get your smell goods. That's a nice gift, men. Go to BBW, use your coupons, get her, buy three, and then get your three free. You know, you got to get something for yourself when you go shopping. Ladies, that's a good gift as well. Go buy your three, or buy his three, and get your three free. <laughs> and so you want to do that. Okay? For the massages, I actually got this for a marriage retreat. Remember, romance is throughout the whole year. So when you see their marriage retreat going on and they at a good hotel and they got all this stuff for y'all to do and what to learn and how to learn and what to do, y'all go so y'all can get y'all little party favors. So this is my little uh, cheat sheet here. 
um, uh, for in Radio Land, I have a sand hourglass, a sand hourglass. So when I'm giving my man his massage, I turn it, and when it's when his sand runs out, it is my turn for my rub down. Remember, we're balanced. Or you can do like a little timer or whatever. Just know that, okay, I'm finished rubbing you. Now come put your hands on me, baby. Let's do, let's keep this thing balanced, okay? Now, dinners. I am going to do a segment. Next week, I'm going to teach y'all what to do, how to get everything that you want and put it up. So get you a little bin, get you whatever you need to put it up. And I'm talking about from plates to uh, rose petals to, because remember the next time you hear my show next week will be after Valentine's Day. So we're going to talk about those after Valentine's Day sales where we want to get our candles. They're going to be 50% off, 75% off. You want to get that. Put it up. Because you remember romances throughout the whole year. We're not stopping just in February. Because that's a bad marriage where your girl has to look forward to Valentine's Day to get your time, attention, and romance. That's a bad marriage when your man can only get your time, attention, and romance on a special day. His birthday, maybe Christmas, and Valentine's Day, sweetest day. That's not cool. So you want to get these things because you know you don't want to break the bank. You don't want to break the bank. So you want to take the opportunities to get the 50% off, the 75% off. So now we have to set them the, the day up for Valentine's Day or that weekend. Because I know it's on a Tuesday. And you know, but hey, being romantic during the week is hey baby, we can't wait till Friday. We need to get this in right now. We wanna I wanna I want to make love to you right now. Okay. So. That's what we want to do. So next week I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk about. You know. Getting that stuff done. We want to get it done. I'm looking at this. Yes, I believe. I absolutely 100% believe. I'm trying to pull it up for y'all. Hold on. Trying to pull it up. <laughs> okay, yes. I do write. I'm getting some of the the questions out of here. Um, we did just ask me about strawberries. Okay, if your girl don't eat strawberries, she eats some type of fruit. So if she eats some type of fruit, then you want to make sure you get that fruit that she likes. If she don't like for, uh, strawberries, don't get her strawberries. We don't want to do anything that she don't want to do. We don't want to do that. So, if she's a banana girl, I just got these so it's green. Get your bananas. If you're, they say, how do we do things like this? And you don't have money for edible arrangements. You don't have um, anything for shimmer. Okay, shimmy, uh, my shimmer uh, desserts. Okay, 
if you don't have money for these places, then it's cool. Because you know what? You don't want to, you, you, this is the night of romance. Not a break the bank. What you can do is you can buy your own chocolates. You can melt them. You can use a glass bowl, a little milk, just a little bit, um, a little butter, real butter, just like one, um, one fourth, which is uh, just one, one or two little pads, depending on how much chocolate you're making. Take a double boiler, meaning a bowl on top of boiling hot water. The chocolate will begin to melt. Some chocolates you don't even need milk. They'll begin to melt. And you put just a little bit of that pure butter in it to keep it from congealing. And it'll stay kind of liquidy. If you put too much milk in there and it's really runny, you can always put more chocolate in there. If it's too thick, just add a little bit more milk. Okay? Or you can buy a fondue pot. Some of them are sale for eight and seven ninety nine. They are small little it look like um it looks like a little um crock pot but it's really really small not that big it's not even as big as my little hourglass it's not as big as tall as that but it's a small little pot and you can melt the chocolate in there plug it in put your chocolate in there give it a stir and it's good if you're a person like the person that just asked me a question you can always do chocolate syrup so what you want to do is wash the fruit lay it out so if she don't like strawberries get her bananas get her apples whatever fruit she likes lay it out and do just fun little swirls and save this for later yes Save it for later to so let it be room temperature. You want to lay it, lay, lay it out and swirl it over. You don't want to leave the bananas whole. Slice it in half and then slice, slice it long ways. So you have one. Let me see if I can get it for you. Again, this banana is, I just bought it, so it's not ripe yet. So, But I will sacrifice my banana for you I will sacrifice my banana make sure that you get it so you want to slice it in half because you want bite size you do not want to have something that's going to choke her so I sliced it in half and then I sliced it the long way. Since y'all are right here with me, again, slice the banana in half and then slice it the long way so that uh, you ain't got this big thing that you're trying to shove in her mouth. You want to take your chocolate and drizzle it over your banana. So your chocolate is drizzled. It'll look pretty on your plate. And then you can feed her. And then, you know, y'all can go from there. Again, you want to drizzle the chocolate so it's not drenched and you're not getting chocolate everywhere. And you want to feed her. You can do it with bananas. You can do it with apples. Um, the Dollar Tree has apple um, cutters that will... Excuse me. I fed myself the banana. <laughs> They have apple cores and cutters that will core the apple and cut it for you. So you have perfect pieces and you just drizzle the chocolate on it. So you don't have a whole bunch of ban uh, banana, whole bunch of apple, you know, bite size that you can feed it to her. Ladies, that's simple too. 
simple enough um again i'll show you chocolate syrup works just for that and you want to save this for later i'm telling you you could do a chocolate swirl where you use your tongue and let the chocolate fall off and you know you can do a lot of tricks with that <laughs> so that's one of the things that you want to do wiping my hands off so for those so nobody is left out nobody is left out you um you don't have to worry about I mean, you really don't have to worry about anything. If you can't, if you're not a good cook and you can't uh, melt chocolate, get you some chocolate sauce, raspberry sauce, caramel sauce, everything they make for the ice cream. Do it on your fruit, or get you some ice cream and put do it on there too. However you like it, however you want to do it, it's your night. It's the way to make it romantic. You can um, do it absolutely. Now, this is for me. This is what I did today. I went and I got... Um, I got... Uh, uh, I got me... Some T-bone steaks from my butcher. So, a good tip for anybody that want to be romantic or... Ro you know, this is, this is just setting up your Valentine's Day. So, we went from the lotions... You know, y'all going to get many and petties together or doing it to, you know, creating that at home. You know, just go get you some stuff from the dollar store. Uh, it only break the bank to be romantic because be, the romance is really being together and sharing your hearts with each other. You know, touching each other, being, you know, just being present. There, you're not talking about the bills. You're not talking about the kids. You're not talking about what happened at work. You're just enjoying each other. You're remembering what it used to be to be together. You're giving up each other that sex therapy. You're, you're doing all of that stuff. And so, you know, if you can't afford it, go out and do a double uh, Manny and Petty together. You know? Getting a massage chair, get it worked on out so y'all can go out to dinner or whatever. Um, if you cannot afford it, create it at home with things you already got at the house. You already have little things. And you can buy little buckets from um, the dollar store that's in different colors. And just, you don't need a whole lot of water for, for a massage. You don't, need, you don't need a whole lot of water. So you want to make sure that you, you know, keeping on a budget. Um... If you want to do a couple's massage, if you can afford it, if you are, are a budget watcher, you can also go on Groupon. Go on Groupon and see if they have any specials on massages. It doesn't have to be Massage Envy. It could be somewhere else. If they have a good enough Groupon, then both of y'all can go get a couple's massage together and have that intimate time. If you cannot, create it at home create at home get you some olive oil heat it up remember to test it on your arm if it's too hot for you it's going to be too hot for them um use your timer to say switch it's my time now baby because what we do for one we do for the other um you know just lay them out on your sheet make sure that you use something a little bit different because if you don't, you're going to get oil all over your bed. So go get you some sheets that you on, you know, them old sheets that you like. Okay, well, I was going to throw them away anyway. Put that out and do the massage. Okay, again, I said um, olive oil, grapeseed oil is a good one. And um, the coconut oil. Remember that it's going to be the organic coconut oil or start out as a solid. But once you heat it up in your hand, it will become an oil, a liquid oil. So you can do that as well. I'm at the end of the show, y'all. I'm at the end. Um, 
if you can afford to sit, you know that little commercial where the lady got the bullhorn, like, who you here for? I'm here with edible arrangements for whatever her name was. And she trying to impress her whole office. If you can be, you know, the Mac Daddy and put that down like that, then do it. Send your, your babe, women, send your man some um, edible arrangements, shimmy, um, uh, shim, shimmering my uh, fruit, whatever it is that you're going to get your fruit decorated because it's a lot of people that decorate the fruit now. So whoever you trust and you can go and get that delivered to their job, then do it. Show them girls in his office that he already got a boo that appreciates him. So he good, baby. Don't worry about that. Give him his card and his whatever he likes. Maybe it's cigars. Maybe it's whatever. Um, Get him that to show him that you appreciate it. If you can afford delivery, go pick it up yourself and deliver it with lunch. Maybe your man not going to be home for Valentine's dinner or, or not until late. Pick him up his edible arrangement. Go get him his favorite lunch or make him his favorite lunch and take it to his job and say, baby, I just appreciate you. Brownie points, brownie points. Me and you can do the same. If you cannot afford none of that, you got fruit at home in the refrigerator because everybody on the health kick now. Everybody trying to be on the health kick now. Go in your refrigerator, cut up those bananas. Remember, cut it in half and then cut it uh, the long way. So there's bite size. If you can't boil chocolate, get your chocolate sauce. And do little swirlies on there. Because you don't want to drench it in chocolate. You want to put a little swirl in case, it, you know, for some people it's a little bit too sweet. And you want to save that chocolate for you later. Okay, so that's going in the bedroom with you. Um, you want to have your soundtrack. So if you got CDs or downloads on your phone, make you a little page where the, your romantic night, your soundtrack going to be playing. Um, if you want a nice dinner, go on Groupon. Groupon got you. If you can't, still can't afford that, go in your refrigerator because you already bought that food. Prepare it. His favorite meal. Prepare her favorite meal. Set your table. Dollar store have beautiful white plates and they have everything for your table. They have everything for your table. Four dollars. It's on two, y'all. Get you a bowl for her salad. Get you uh, a plate, a, a nice little glass, and you're all good. Set that table and y'all enjoy yourself. February romance means that we are into each other. That's what the key is. The key is to, to be into each other. To enjoy each other. To become one. So again, my, my husband doesn't come home until really <laughs> the next day. So, our Valentine's Day is not going to be on the 14th. It's going to be on the 15th of February. And I have some T-bone steaks that we're doing. I have some um, potatoes. Because he's a meat and potatoes guy. I'm going to put it out for him. We're going to have a nice salad. Um, we don't drink, so I'm doing uh, taking the apple cider uh sparkling cider and making a sangria out of that we go i'm gonna put it out for him we're gonna be good some people celebrate on the 14th some people celebrate on the 15th some people celebrate on the 24th whenever you have your romantic dinner you just want to be present and you want to be show the love through everything you want to show it through your touch you want to um, show it through your speech you want to show it through your eyes you want to show it from your heart you want to show it from your <laughs> you want to show it from every part of your body and just being present let them know i'm here and i appreciate you that's what the month of love is all about that's what valentine's day is all about don't let the greeting card company don't let the um fruit companies and flower companies and all of that stuff get you down if you can't afford it make it do what it do baby 
because he loved you just for her, she loved you just for who you are he and she your spouse love you and they they just want you to be present and just think of little stuff to do okay so that's my time check me next week i'm gonna tell you about those deals how to go and get your love kit together get those candles that's on sale those rose petals you know get all of that stuff and put it in your kit get your special plates get that everything that you need so when you have your romantic dinner and i'm also going to show you uh, pictures from my i'm gonna start putting up on the divine council pictures from my um dinner with my husband he's going to get a personal massage he's going to get all of that so I'm going to just put some pictures up. Y'all ain't going to see nothing that y'all ain't supposed to be seeing. But you're going to see how we put it down at the sex bird's house. Okay? So I love y'all. Um, make sure that y'all love on each other the whole month. Don't take a day. Love is every day. There's always room for romance. There's always room for communication. There's always room for sex. There's always room to be with the one you love. Okay? So, Father God, I ask that you cover our couples, cover the spouses, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray that this be their best uh, Valentine uh, Day yet, meaning that they communicate, that they learn more about each other, that he makes her feel like a woman again, and she makes him feel like her man again, God, in the name of Jesus. God, anybody that have lost the spark in their marriage, ignite it again, Father. We don't want to have sparks. We want to have fire. We want to have that fire and desire. So if they have even just a flicker of love left, God, we're asking you to step in and ignite that fire in the name of Jesus. And for those that are still ignited, God, set them ablaze in the name of Jesus. God, cover the marriage. Let that man cover his wife and be everything that she needs. God, let the woman undergird her husband and be everything that he needs, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, give them strong backs God strong hips strong thighs so they can get it done God give them strong erections God and give them nice moistness in Jesus name I do pray because God you made us and you made us as one bring us together in this time in Jesus name I do pray be blessed y'all I'll see y'all next week because we have a whole month of love the whole month ladies get that lingerie get it together i will come on on monday to tell y'all where the deal's at to get that lingerie all right be blessed